Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today we're going to take a look at a new artist uh, doing an Emerson Lake and Palmer cover uh, with help from other musicians around the world, specifically the United States and Hungary. Uh, This artist is named Rachel Flowers. I don't know very much about her right now, except that she does have uh, a Bandcamp page full of material. Rachel Flowers is recognized worldwide as a multi-instrumentalist and composer whose music encompasses multiple genres. Uh, She first gained recognition for her talent as a young child and has been admired and mentored by those at the top of their field. Greg Lake, Keith Emerson, Dweezil Zappa, conductor Terje Mikkelsen, uh, pardon if I mispronounce that, and a series of jazz greats, most notably Herbie Hancock. So we will take that as our introduction And uh, this was a specific request, and I thought it would be a pretty interesting way to continue with our look back at Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I don't exactly recall this piece. I do remember hearing it, (laughs) for sure, and liking it. I believe it's on the Trilogy album. This involves seven other musicians, and I'm going to leave the link below. Uh, Three from Hungary and three four from the USA. All right. So, Adrian, anything before we dive into this? Well, I'm just looking forward to uh, hearing a song and checking out how it's done by this artist. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's take a look. Oh 
I've never heard that before, but I like it. It's pretty cool, I think. You know, nice. Uh, You've never heard that one? I haven't. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I noticed um, I was going through your collection. I, I should mention, because we should probably do a show on it sometime. I, I have a whole bunch of your records over here now, because I had more space to store them than you do. Yes. And um, so... I've got an ELP album out of the deal. It was the pictures at an exhibition. Oh. Yeah. And I also was wondering, that's when I was asking you about, hey, where's your brain salad surgery? You know, because I don't seem to have it here. And you said, oh, I still have a few over here. And that's one of them. So, which is good news. So, yeah, I guess those were the albums you heard. And meanwhile, I was listening to the first album, just Emerson, Lake and Palmer and uh, Trilogy. And this is, I think, it might be the opening track on Trilogy, come to think of it. Okay. So I've definitely heard this, and uh, I, I like it. What it shows me, I mean, that piece of music, just writing it in the first place, let me just give my props to Emerson, Lake, and Palmer right up front, and I'm sure it was mostly Keith Emerson on a lot of that, but I mean, everybody. It was just a spectacular musical piece to be putting together, and then committing to memory, presumably, and I, I noticed this group of musicians is really uh, spot on, talented. It's amazing. And I'm, yeah, yeah, they did an amazing job. There's not a, a hint of sheet music anywhere, so they didn't chart it out, which I think a lot of musicians would have been tempted to do. Not to say they didn't. Maybe they learned it that way and then ditched the charts. But this is a lot to remember. And uh, talking about Rachel Flowers for a minute, the stuff she was doing, it looks to me like she had to commit all that to memory. And not only was it not exactly straightforward playing, (laughs) to say the least, uh, it also had all these different sensitivities that would change from almost from second to second, just every other every measure to measure. So you don't just memorize the actual piece, but you memorize the feel of the whole thing, too, for minutes on end of something that is is not really a straightforward thing to be thinking. So, I mean, that took some talent just to just to first get it into your head and then to be able to play it. What sounded flawlessly to me from what I remember of this piece, really great job. Big yeah. props to the band. They did excellent. And they were calling themselves the Virtual ELP Band, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was impressive that she managed to put all that together and everything. I don't know if it was specifically her project. Perhaps it was. I'm not exactly sure if maybe they just were friends and decided, hey, let's do this together. Uh, It says featuring Rachel. I just don't know what the story is there. But all of those musicians were fantastic. Yeah. They, they, uh, yeah, good work, guys and, and gals. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right. Well, uh, we appreciate that suggestion. And if folks have others for us, really pretty much anybody, but Emerson, Lake, and Palmer would be fine. Um, we're always looking for new things to feature on the channel. If you think that there's something that's not getting mentioned enough out there, leave it below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.